Terminal sliding mode control. Lecture number 11. Prepared by Yasir Amir. Terminal sliding mode control. Terminal sliding mode control adds non-linear functions into the design of the sliding plane. A terminal sliding surface is constructed and the tracking errors on the sliding surface converge to zero in a finite time. Here we have second order system given by this equation. Second order, that's why we have two state variables. Or you can say it's second order, so we have two state variables. F and B are nonlinear, or they can be linear functions of state variables x1 and x2, while U is the control input. In order to obtain the terminal convergence of the state variables, the following first order terminal sliding mode variable is defined as given in equation 2.2. S is the terminal sliding variable and it is equal to x2 plus beta times x1 raised to the power qyp where p and q are positive odd integers and p is always greater than q. So we have defined a sliding surface which is a nonlinear sliding surface. Now let us define a sliding mode controller of the form given in equation 2.4. u is equal to u positive function of x. If s is positive and uh, u equals to u negative function of x if s is negative. The terminal sliding variable s can be driven to the terminal sliding mode s in finite amount of time. This is a characteristic of terminal sliding mode control. The nonlinear differential equation given by 2.5, which shows that the derivative of x1 equals to minus beta times x1 raised to the power q by p, where beta is some positive constant, determine the dynamics of the system in this sliding mode. When s becomes 0, we say that the sliding mode is there, and in during that, uh, equation 2.5 governs determine the dynamics of the system. x1 equals 0 o is called the terminal attractor of the system given in 2.5. If the initial value of x1 that is x1 at time t equals 0, that is x1 of 0, is not equal to 0. And p and q are designed to satisfy 2.3 then. Relaxation time t1 is given by this equation which is obtained by integrating 2.5. The expression 2.6 means that when in the terminal sliding mode that is given by equation 2.5, the system state x1 converges to 0 in finite amount of time and also x2 converges to 0 in finite amount of time identically. So this gives us a time in which the state variables uh, converge to zero. Now, and another uh, important thing to be noted here is that the first order terminal sliding mode technique that we have discussed above has been successfully used for control of nonlinear rigid body robotic manipulators with the result that output tracking error converges to zero in finite time. The sliding uh, variable s that we discussed previously was for a second order system. If we have an nth order system, and uh, the, for example, given in here in the equation 2.7, in that case, we have hierarchical terminal sliding mode given by this set of equations 2.8a up to 2.8c. That is, we have s1, s2 up to sn minus 1. In this way, we define the, define the terminal sliding mode control uh, uh, variable s for an nth order system. And uh, again, beta i is where i goes from 1 to n minus 1 is positive. And we have p and q. p is always greater than q. p i is always greater than q i are the positive odd integers. In this way, we can define the sliding uh, variable for an nth order single input, single output system. If the terminal sliding mode controller is designed in such a way that the product of the sliding variable and its derivative for s n minus 1 uh, times the derivative of s n minus 1 is 
this product is less than zero if this condition is satisfied then the terminal sliding variables uh, they converge to zero in a finite amount of time sequentially uh, they converge to zero in a finite amount of time sequentially this point is to be noted and the system states can converge to the origin that is zero in a finite amount of time sliding mode. Now let us look at all we have seen again in a bit of more detail. Again the sliding variable s is selected in same way as we have already done with all the same conditions. The control law u is given by equation 2.13 with eta as positive and l being the bound on the added disturbance term that we might have in the state equation for x2. Now analysis of uh, stability. Now in this part of the lecture I would uh, suggest that you should please take a piece of paper and do with the working yourself to get a better understanding. One important point to be noted here is that uh, the state variable model that we considered earlier in this lecture had the functions f and b and there was no disturbance over there. We have not shown that uh, explicitly in these lectures but uh, you can take the state variable model in such a way that instead of B we have now we have G and G is being multiplied with U and we have an added disturbance term that represents the unwanted disturbance uh, being added into the system. Now this with this kind of state variable model in our minds we have differentiated the state variable S and replaced the uh, derivatives of the state variable x2 and x1 with the state variable model and we have done a bit of uh, manipulation then we substituted the control law that we defined in the earlier slide in the second step and uh, finally we have this uh, we multiply it with s on both the sides in the last step and uh, since taking the s mod of s common we have the Mm, we have eta we uh, and eta plus l within the bracket and a negative sign outside and then we have the disturbance the disturbance and uh, uh, the bound on the disturbance that is l they will be subtracting and subtracted from each other and uh, we have uh, imposed a condition that disturbance is always bounded from the uh, top by l therefore this product will always be less than or equal to minus eta times the mod of the s variable. Now suppose the attaining time is tr and it is the time when s is s of 0 it is the time taken from when s of 0 is not equal to 0 to when s becomes 0 that is uh, initially when s at time 0 t equals to 0 s is not equal to 0 and uh, as the time proceeds then s goes to 0 and at the, some time when s becomes 0 we say that time tr so that s of tr equals to 0 so when we have s is greater than equal to 0 and we have this condition in place that is the product of s and the derivative of s is always less than equal to minus eta times the mod of s with eta being positive now remove the s from both the sides of the equation inequality and integrate both the sides uh, starting from the initial value that is s of 0 where t is 0 up to s of tr that is time becomes tr by integrating on both the sides we get this and since we know that tr is the time where s of tr becomes 0 so with a bit of manipulation um, we have this attaining time tr is always less than or equal to s of 0 divided by eta. Now suppose the attaining time ts is the time for the various state variable x1 to become 0 starting from uh, the time tr uh, that is uh, x1 of tr is not equal to 0 then some time passes and that time is ts so that x1 of ts plus tr is equal to 0 and uh, this is uh, this happens uh, during the sliding mode 
that is during the phase when the state variable s equal to 0 and we have seen earlier that during during the sliding mode uh, the system dynamics are uh, given by this equation the derivative of x1 equals to minus beta times x1 raised to the power q by p now using this equation and integrating on both the sides starting from x of tr x of tr to x of tr x become x1 becomes 0 and on the right hand side we have the initial time is tr and the final time is tr plus ts and uh, performing this integration completing this integration finally we have this time attaining time ts equals to this equation given over here p divided by beta multiplied by the difference of p and q multiplied by mod of x1 tr raised to the power 1 minus q by p now this ts time is what we need to understand is that this is the time that will be taken for the state variables to become zero starting from the time when the state variables reached when the trajectories reached uh, the sliding surface that is uh, starting from the time when s becomes zero from that time that time is tr and after that the, the time taken by these state variables to become zero that is ts so starting from right from the beginning from t equal to zero the total time that the state variables would eventually take to become zero would be ts plus tr during which ts we can call it the sliding time that is the uh, it is a finite amount of time which will be taken by the sliding variables to become zero with this i artificial intelligence sector c and yasir would like to end our today's lecture with special thanks to these gentlemen see you in next lecture if you have any comments or suggestions to write to us, you can contact us via email or WhatsApp 0321-250401 or outside Pakistan plus 9232125024018.